Peeling back the layers of the part I've been playing for you Used to be so easy Now I get queasy Hello and welcome to a new episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. Today I'm taking you with me on a freezing cold but sunny winter morning to shoot a new film stock I've never tried before. I was on my way to the train station to catch a train that is going to take me out of town. On my way I already found a couple cool scenes that I wanted to shoot. I especially like this shot I got of the person in red with the train behind them matching in colour. So if you watched last week's video, you will know that it was a cold week in Austria, so cold that I was having serious difficulties shooting. And so thinking of ways to make use of the sunny weather without freezing off my fingers, an idea popped up in my head. I love to shoot out of driving cars, it's like photography on lazy mode because you don't go to the scenes, the scenes come to you. The only difficulty being the speed. And so I thought how about riding a train out of town and seeing where it goes. I decided to take a somewhat random train out of the city. The only thing I knew about it is that it was going east from Vienna and ending just before reaching the border to Slovakia. I didn't really make a plan for this morning, I just sat down in the train thinking I'll ride to the end and maybe explore that area a little. I just enjoyed the ride, watching the landscape pass by outside and raised the camera any time I saw something that could be interesting for a photograph. Watching from the sides as you go through life So here is the first shot from the train ride. We're starting off simple and easy with this wide landscape shot that feels like an establisher for the journey that is to come. I like it. A foreground and motion blur has always been a weak spot of mine and here too I'm loving it. Next up, the train passed a huge power pole rather close by, which allowed me to get a shot looking up to it. Here's the shot, and I think it looks pretty cool. I'm happy how well the composition worked out, even while moving by so quickly. I mean, it's just center frame, so not exactly challenging in complexity, but still, I appreciate that it went so well. Also, I wonder, are you put off by the reflections when shooting through a window? For me, it depends. In this case, I actually think it looks pretty cool thanks to the vibrant red of the seats that just adds a splash of colour into the composition. Of course, it only works here because the position is not too distracting. This shot is a bit random, I'm not too sure what exactly I was trying here. The colours are cool though. Next, I was looking for compositions at the train station that we stopped by at. By chance, the train was in the ideal position to capture the beautiful lighting outside by framing the seats there. Here is the shot. I love how the lighting comes across in the photograph, it's a wonderful display of why I got the shot. The composition isn't anything fancy, it feels very natural though, like exactly what the person sitting in the seat, so in this case me, was seeing. And that was enough of natural compositions though, now I went to a different seat, or actually I was crouching down in between seats, to get this more meticulous composition of the seats and the landscape outside. Here's the shot, and I think it's not bad, I like the composition a lot, it gives a great feeling for the train ride on this sunny winter morning. This is obviously really pushing the dynamic range of the film to its limits, it appears that I slightly miscalculated the light metering and overexposed a little too much, so that the sky basically has no detail left. Luckily though, I think it doesn't make the photograph much worse, it's alright, just in hindsight, now I'd like to have gotten a darker version for a better view of the landscape. Then, another fun thing to do in the train was to change seats every now and then to hopefully find some new ways of shooting. Here I spotted those workers in orange which looked pretty cool so I quickly got a shot of them. 
here's the result and this looks great this is exactly what i mean by the scenes come to you i'm just riding this train and can focus on looking outside and spotting interesting scenes that pass by this being a wonderful example in my opinion the crew make for a great subject that interacts with the environment which is also filled with implications such as the railway tracks the building and all the parked cars i'm very happy with this shot Then I continued to move around inside the train and find new angles a way to look out the window and got a couple shots. This one is pretty cool I find, I'm really fond of having the seat a little blurry in the foreground. This shot is also not bad. That house in the distance that appears to be in the middle of what seems to be absolutely nowhere makes for an intriguing subject. I just wish there were a couple decorative clouds to fill the slight emptiness of the upper half of the shot. That was definitely not a good one. This is one of those instant regret shots. This is of course part of the challenge when shooting out of a fast moving train, I had to make the decision quickly whether or not this composition that I was seeing is worth a frame of the film. The composition isn't even too bad actually, but the frontal lighting just doesn't look that nice. Then, after nearly an hour, the train arrived at the last stop from where it simply changes directions to go back to Vienna. I decided to get off here though, and spend about an hour in this little town to shoot some more and explore the place. By the way, now that I've shown you the first couple of shots that I've got on this film, I'd just like to quickly talk about the film stock. It's called Luminar 100 and is respooled Kodak Aerocolor Color Negative Aerial Photography Film, according to the website. It's a company from Canada that is trying to add another toys to the color negative film market, and also they're trying to keep the prices relatively low when compared to many Kodak film stocks. For full transparency, I want to let you know that they reached out to me asking whether I'd like to shoot the film in a video. So this is sponsored by the brand POFO, which I consider to be a dream for me because film is pretty much as close as it gets when looking for brands that are ideal partners for me and also you can directly see what the film is capable of in the photographs in this video. So let me know what you think of the film. I think it's really cool to see these smaller brands adding to the choice of film stocks. Right outside the train station, I was enjoying the look of the bike stand here with the can of beer on the box next to the bicycles. This is the shot, and I think it's not too bad. I like the many implications it holds again, just this one frame tells the story of this place. It has a neat train station, but you can immediately sense that this town is not exactly bustling with life. Empty bike stands, no people or cars in sight, and the only sign of people are the three bikes and the can of beer. Then, I slowly walked across the grounds here, attentively looking at everything, and then spotted another composition. At first, the building's light blue colour caught me, but then, even beyond that, I was liking the composition that I was eyeing here a lot. Here's the shot. So, what I was enjoying here is the inclusion of the tree in this composition, that has the hanging shape that seems to add an additional frame to the windows in the centre. Overall, I like this composition for the many lines that all seem to simply add to a sort of framing of the two windows in the centre. Then, around the corner on the other side of the building was this yellow post box attached to the wall, which I thought was a wonderful subject. I was aiming to go for a minimalistic composition that contrasts the blue wall to the yellow box. And this is it, and I think this turned out so cool. It's quite a geometrical shot with the lines of the harsh shadow adding to the subject in the middle. I'm very happy with this result. Then I continued to explore the area and came to what seemed like the main road where I spotted a corner with a nice diagonal line of light. Here's the shot, and I like it, and the lighting is a good basis for the photograph, but I like it for more than that actually. 
Again, we've got a multitude of elements to look at here, which piece together a story. I find myself wondering what the rubbish on the ground here is doing, and how did it get here? Why has nobody bothered to clean it up? Whose house is this? Is this part of their property, and maybe the rubbish is their own? As you know, I enjoy these photographs that give some key points from where the viewer can interpret in all directions and enjoy the food for thought. Here I spotted this vibrant teal painted door next to the yellow wall. It appeared to be a promising scene for a colourful shot. And this is what I got, and I think it's wonderful. So far, this random place I've come to is turning out to be such a successful photography spot. In this shot, I'm fond of the concentration on shapes and colours. There are so many photographs of this type, and so it's fun to attempt this style myself when coming across a scene like this one. By the way, a little detail I hope you didn't miss because I just adore it is that little house number sign on the door. Then I kept exploring this little town, but after that door I didn't spot much more actually. Eventually I was making my way back to the train station to catch the train back to Vienna, but stopped at this site of some ice that had a neat glowing look in the sun, so I got a shot. This is what I got, and it's not bad, I like the colour contrast between the light and the shadow. After that, I returned to the train station and caught my train back, and again hopped around from seat to seat hoping to maybe find a couple more shots. This one I messed up a little and totally overexposed. I tried to bring back as much as possible in the post-processing, but it ended up looking kind of weird, but I guess that happens, it's part of the process. Here I got a much better exposure, and I think it's looking pretty good. So at this point the shots are getting quite repetitive, which I'll in part say is due to the unchanging flat landscape in this part of Austria. I'd love to do another train photography session of this type, back in my hometown where the Alps rise up high next to the train tracks. Then, here I got this shot, which I only noticed now is coincidentally the same house I already photographed earlier that morning. At the time of shooting, I was realising myself that I was running out of options and beginning to repeat shots, so I decided to end the shoot here and enjoy the rest of the train ride from just one seat. So I think shooting out of the train was a great idea to escape the cold, and I'm happy that I got to explore this interesting town at the edge of Austria. In case you're interested in the film stock, here are a couple more shots that I got with it in the days after this shoot. I think they look great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming along this morning. Let me know which photos you liked or disliked in the comments. As always, I'm curious. And with that said, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, goodbye.